You may have heard that data is the lifeblood of artificial intelligence, but what exactly is data and why is it so crucial? Well, in the simplest of terms, data is information. It can take the form of numbers, text, images, or even sounds. Each piece of data is like a single thread in a vast tapestry. Alone, it might not seem like much, but when combined with countless others, it forms a rich and complex picture. Now imagine this tapestry as the raw material that fuels artificial intelligence. AI algorithms like skilled weavers take these threads of data and transform them into patterns of insight. They learn from the data, making sense of it, and then use it to make informed decisions or predictions. Let's take a real-life example to illustrate this. Imagine you're a real estate agent tasked with predicting house prices. To do this, you'd need data, right? So you start collecting information on house sizes and their corresponding prices. Each house size and price pair represents a single piece of data. Once you have enough data, you feed it into an AI system. This system, using algorithms, starts to find patterns in the data. It might notice that larger houses tend to have higher prices, while smaller ones tend to be cheaper. Over time, the AI system learns from this data, refining its understanding with each new piece of information it receives. This learning process forms the core of how AI works. Without data, the system wouldn't have anything to learn from. It would be like trying to weave a tapestry without any threads. That's why data is often referred to as the lifeblood of AI. It fuels the learning process, enabling AI to make accurate predictions and smart decisions. So in our real estate example, the AI system uses the data you've collected to predict house prices. It takes the raw information on house sizes and prices, learns from it, and then applies what it's learned to make accurate predictions. That's the power of data in AI. This data forms the basis for training an AI system to predict house prices accurately. And that's just a single example. The same principles apply across all fields where AI is used, from healthcare to finance to entertainment. Remember, data is the lifeblood of AI. Without it, AI simply wouldn't exist. In another scenario, imagine you want to create an AI that can recognize cats and images. This might sound simple, but it's a task that involves complex data processing. The process begins with a collection of images, each one labeled as cat or not cat. This is your data set, the foundation on which your AI system will learn. The AI doesn't understand what a cat is in the same way we do. Instead, it looks at the patterns in the data. It might notice that images labeled cat often have certain shapes or colors in common. Over time, the AI begins to associate these patterns with the cat label. This is the essence of machine learning. By feeding the AI a steady diet of data, you're teaching it to recognize patterns and make predictions. And so, with enough data and the right algorithm, your AI learns to distinguish cats from not cats. You gather a data set of images labeled cat or not cat, teaching the AI to distinguish between the two. But acquiring data isn't always straightforward. As the world of artificial intelligence expands, the importance of strategic data acquisition comes to the forefront. AI pioneer Andrew Ng has been particularly vocal about this. Ung suggests that instead of waiting for years to amass the perfect data set, it's more beneficial to start leveraging the data you have early on. It's a process of continuous evolution. As you collaborate with AI experts and refine your data collection strategy, your data set grows, evolves, and becomes more precise. But how do we gather data? There are several methods, each with its own set of benefits and drawbacks. Manually labeling datasets is a common approach especially when training AI to recognize specific elements, like our cat recognition scenario. This method can be accurate but is also time-consuming and labor-intensive. Another method is observing and recording user behaviors. This method is particularly useful for predictive AI models, like those seen in recommendation systems. However, this method can raise privacy concerns and requires careful handling. And then we have the internet, a vast reservoir of publicly available data. With a few clicks, you can download vast datasets relevant to your project. But remember, this method might require additional cleaning and pre-processing to ensure the data is reliable and relevant. Each of these methods has its own set of challenges and benefits. You might find yourself using a combination of these methods, depending on the nature of your AI project. The key is to align your data acquisition strategy with your AI objectives. Are you training an AI to recognize images? Then you'll need a labeled image data set. Building a predictive model, you'll need historic data reflecting past behaviors. 
Remember, strategic data acquisition is more than just gathering information. It involves understanding your AI goals, knowing where to look for data, understanding how to collect it, and being aware of the limitations of each method. Each method has its pros and cons, but the key is to gather data that aligns with your AI objectives. However, data alone isn't enough. Misusing data can lead to wasted resources and flawed AI models. Picture this. You've collected a mountain of data, but it's akin to having a library filled with books and languages you can't read. The volume of information appears impressive, but it's practically useless if you can't interpret it correctly. Let's delve into the common pitfalls of data misuse. A prevalent misconception is that more data equates to better AI performance. It's easy to fall into this trap, thinking that by feeding the AI a vast quantity of data, you'll end up with a superior model. However, this is like trying to quench your thirst by drinking from a fire hose. The sheer volume can be overwhelming and not necessarily beneficial. Another pitfall lies in neglecting data quality. Imagine you're baking a cake and the recipe calls for high-quality ingredients. If you substitute cheap, low-quality alternatives, the end result will likely be disappointing. Similarly, if your data is riddled with errors, inaccuracies, or bias, it can lead to misleading AI predictions. Now let's hear from AI pioneer Andrew Ung on the matter of data misuse. As he emphasizes, more data isn't always better. It's crucial to ensure your data is accurate and relevant to your AI goals. This underscores the importance of data quality over quantity. This leads us to the concept of garbage in, garbage out. If you input inaccurate or irrelevant data into your AI model, you can't expect it to output accurate predictions or results. It's like asking a GPS to guide you to a destination, but feeding it the wrong address. You'll end up in the wrong place, no matter how sophisticated the GPS is. In conclusion, while data is indeed the lifeblood of AI, it's not just about amassing huge amounts of it. The key is to acquire accurate, relevant data and use it wisely. Remember, more data isn't always better. It's crucial to ensure your data is accurate and relevant to your AI goals. Data can also be messy. Garbage in, garbage out, as the saying goes. Now this isn't just a catchy phrase. It's a fundamental truth in the world of artificial intelligence. Just as an artist wouldn't paint with muddied colors, an AI shouldn't be trained with dirty data. But what exactly does dirty data mean? Well, it could be anything from duplicate entries, incorrect labels, to missing values. Imagine trying to predict the weather based on temperature data, only to discover that half the readings are missing or incorrect. The results would be, to put it mildly, less than reliable. So, how do we clean up this mess? The process of data cleaning involves several steps, each crucial to ensuring the integrity of the data and, by extension, the accuracy of the AI model. Let's start with incorrect labels. Suppose you're training an AI to identify images of apples and oranges, but by some mix-up, all the apple images are labeled as oranges and vice versa. The AI would end up learning the exact opposite of what it should. In such cases, the data cleaning process would involve going through the data set and correcting these mistaken labels. Now what about missing values? Say you're working with a data set that includes the age and income of a group of people, but some entries don't include the age, do you ignore these entries or do you fill in the gaps? This is where techniques like imputation come in, where you fill in missing data based on the information you do have. Data cleaning is like the unsung hero of AI development. It may not be as glamorous as designing complex algorithms or making groundbreaking discoveries, but without it, none of that would be possible. It's the meticulous work of data cleaning that ensures the data feeding into our AI models is reliable making sure our AI can be trusted to make accurate predictions and decisions. From correcting incorrect labels to handling missing values, data cleaning ensures your AI models learn from reliable information. In summary, data fuels the engine of artificial intelligence. It's the lifeblood that informs, shapes, and ultimately drives the decision-making capabilities of AI systems. But it's not just about having heaps of data, it's about having the right data. It's about understanding the nuances of this raw material that has the power to make or break AI systems. Acquiring data is a strategic endeavor. It's not a matter of hoarding every bit and bite, but rather, it's a thoughtful process of collecting meaningful and relevant information that aligns with your AI objectives. And let's not forget the care that data demands. Data can be messy, and cleaning it up is a vital part of the process. It's the rigorous act of ensuring accuracy and reliability, of turning raw, chaotic information into organized, useful knowledge. 
by understanding its importance, acquiring it strategically, and treating it with care, you can unlock the true potential of AI. This wraps up this video. You have learned the importance of data in the world of machine and learning AI. In the next video, we will dive deeper into the fascinating world of AI. So subscribe to our channel and let the Gen AI Lab take your learning further. See you in the next one.